To do a lookup in Excel, you can use the lookup function, and it has two different syntaxes you can use. There's a vector form and an array form, and we're going to look at each of those with a couple of examples here. In the first example, we're using the array form. So we put in a value that we want to find, and then the array to look for that value. The number that we're using here to look for is, if you look in Excel's help, it shows this is the largest number that can go into a cell. So we wanted to search column D and find the last number. It will keep looking through all the numbers in that column. It won't find this largest possible number because we don't have that in our data. So it finally hits the last number and that's the one that it brings back as the result for this formula. So in this case, we don't have the numbers sorted. Uh, we're just using the unsorted data and it still pulls the last number from that column, even if we have text mixed in there. In the next example, we're using the vector form of lookup. And what we're looking for as the value is a two. And we want to find the last month where there were negative sales amounts. It's going to look in this column, so D2 to D8, and find if the value is less than zero. It's using that as a divisor. So this will either be true or false. So if it's true, it's 1 divided by 1, and the result is 1. And if it's false, then it's going to be an error. So it's going to be ignored as it goes down the list. So it's not going to find a 2, but it will return the last row where there's a 1 as the result. That's what it's going to check. It's going to bring the result from column E, which is the month name from that same row. So just to see how this middle part works, we can highlight this much of the formula. I'll press the F9 key on my keyboard, and you can see here that the first negative amount shows up as a 1. There are lots of division errors, and a few other ones, and it's going to find this last one, which is in April. And for the third example here, you can use any column as your lookup column. Here we're going to try and convert student percentage scores to letter grades. So I've got the scores in ascending order in column D, with VLOOKUP, we would only be able to pull something from the right of this lookup column, but with the lookup function, we can get the results from any other column. So in this case, our lookup is D, and the result will come from column C. So here's our formula. We're looking for whatever grade we've entered in here. Go to column D to lookup return the result from column C.